In a dramatic twist to the unfolding development at the Guyana Sugar Corporation, the executive chairman, Raj Singh, is reportedly getting a reduction in salary, but even that, according to the Alliance for Change, does not change the situation. The party has been calling for the removal of the board and an independent inquiry into the operations of Guy Suko. According to the AFC, Singh was paid a whopping $25,000 per month, but following negotiations with the administration, he will now receive $15,000 tax-free per month. Executive member of the Alliance of Change, Moses Nagamutu, today told Capital News that taxpayers need to get value for money. Mr. Rad Singh has been a director and chairman of the board of Kaisuko for quite a while and he has to be uh, brought in here every time there's a meeting. Now, in the context of the sugar industry failing very badly, production levels have gone down, sugar workers can't even get their pay on time and they cannot get a reasonable increase in their pay. Why would we want to spend $5 million in a package for the chairman of the board? The AFC believes that the show corporation does not need an executive chairman in its present circumstances. The party wants sugar workers to understand that this development is to ensure that a bypass is created avoiding the reporting by the chief executive to a board which then reports to the minister. We, we don't uh, think that we will pay any CEO or spe specifically Mr. Raj Singh 25,000 US, $5 million a month. I believe uh, Mr. Komal Chan, the president of, of GAU, has reported that he was giving an assurance on this issue. And all we can say at this point in time, uh, that in the interests of the sugar industry, in the interests of the country, when everybody else is asked to, uh, to uh, ban their waste and to un undergo austerity, um, and there is a lot of uncertainty in the sugar industry, we are hoping that uh, this assurance would be cast in gold. The seven-seat opposition party is also calling for the contract of Singh to be made public. Reporting for Capital News, Royston Drakes.